I need I need an imbecile to film. I need somebody smart. Sure. Somebody ambidextrous. Sure. Somebody intelligent. Kurt. Kurt. Somebody. Somebody. I think I think I picked out a very tall man. He's walking away from me. He's going in the other direction. <laughs> I need somebody big. But our thousandth brand new glass. Ah, the boy. Are you gonna put down the soup or the uh, <laughs> the soup? The listen. Just overhaul the Star Trek. Uh, we told him originally 1,800 to 2,500. But as it turned out, the guy who bought it from us on some things. He missed a lot. Do you want a bill he'll never forget? I did. I made him up a bill he'll never forget. Oh, that hole, but that has to get loose. Uh, let me show you while he gets a little screwdriver. Let me come, 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 come closer. Uh, the guy who got it from did a, a nice okay, initial sure. work. He did. However, we had to change all the rubbers. Uh, we also added these protectors here in a couple spots because, uh, especially around the slingshots, because uh, that was the only plastic that had chipped. Uh, we added fires here and here and strips. So this whole back area is now nice and bright. I think it looks good. I do. Uh, custom made drop targets from droptargets.com. Actually, that's Jeff at Classic Arcades. You can order them. I, there's the information. And we added orange down here because the, the motif color scheme here is orange and then blue. And then, uh, nice, look. Something new. We put a fire in there too. So we have three fire LEDs. We also had a fourth one here in the back glass behind that fireball. You know, originally, I think in another video, that used to be a person. And they said, don't take the person out and make it into a fireball. So you're not going to have somebody from the team killing someone, no matter who it is, no matter how evil they were. All right, now I started to change. Yes, so that, that, yeah, we're going to fix it. Now, place. this is also going to get our powder-coated legs. We don't have to do that with this one. The same customer is buying this game. We sold a lot of these. This is a premium Star Trek with the powder coating pre-done. This beautiful, gorgeous machine. Actually, swing over to the legs. Right? Um, this game's great. It's running on the, the older system, the Sammy, and, which we like a lot. And the premium offers this beautiful stainless steel cutout here. Isn't that nice? Of course, the light flashes in gameplay. And these have these beautiful color changers. Every LED can change to different colors um, as, as depending on the, the game that you're playing, what levels you're playing. We have to actually, right here, is a comparison of the Premium and the Pro, okay? And I think we have, yes, um, I have to give enough time in between so I can flash another one up. You can't put them back to back. There's the Star Trek, original Star Trek video. If you want to see some more detail, now Steven has gone through the cabinet and touched it up. 40 year old machine, it's beautiful. And you know, Chris, the 40 year old machine qualifies for our seal of uh, excellence. It, bang, bang. Put on a bow tie. They peel off. I'm excited about showing you this because we haven't had one of these yet. I'm going to tell you about a trick that nobody knows about. You're going to see it, and it has something to do with this. And we're curious because when we pull this off, we're going to look and see if that was done to this, which I doubt. Um, who was working on this? Little Chris, right? So you're going to take this off, and we're going to actually. I'll show you later in this video. We're going to take that off. I'm going to show you a little. I bet it wasn't done. Now, now let me ask you a question. What kind of a... Oh, no, that... This is interesting. I like this. This is nice. That's nice. Repackage... Here, just get some... Fill this in right here with some glue. Okay? 
That's and not the, in it? the guy will never know, okay? That's I'm gonna not, save myself not, three bucks. They do. That Star Trek had all these things they missed. The, the cabinet switches. He didn't want to spend the extra ten bucks for each cabinet switch. They were all pitted. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. You know, Stephen, in two seconds. You didn't do the. I told you that. He's okay. I don't do. do I'll, I'll I take do care not of work it. on the inside of these games. He's, they're just going to get the lockdown bar. Answer Ready. today is the same as it was yesterday and will be tomorrow. That's you! I'll tell you what is Hobbit Black Arrow. Um, yes. I, oh, look, look. This. This has got to be the best Chinese place. The best Chinese place anywhere on planet Earth. I will the have the house special Chinese wonton, place. and I'm on a diet. Two spring rolls, not egg They're not going to give you a discount now. I don't know why you're saying that. It's cheap. The house oh, special is, what is it, $4 for this thing packed with stuff. Want spring rolls for it? Two spring Two rolls. For good measure. I'm on a diet. Okay, we You saw it earlier. We were working on this thing. Uh, the good news. Plastic sets are back in production. I'm very happy. Uh, a suit. So they were expecting it. And we, he decided he's going to wait until we get the plastic so, uh, That's coming. Okay, should we... Here, here watch. Please. I love it. Emergency evasive. Oh my god. Money. It's idiot. 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 It's Listen, if you want to play it the right way, buy it. Isn't that a great effect when you put that thing in the center? Gorgeous. Dazzling light show. But just put black rubber. And of course, this has the laser beam in here that turns on. When you watch that video, you'll see how nice it is. Yes, but you know what? I wanted you to see what we found out when we opened up that old Star Trek, when we first started working on it. Let's watch. Under imbecile. Come in for imbecile alert. Look. Here. Look at this. See? Isn't that clever? Isn't that great? Look. And the this bridge is serving as the heat sink. Isn't that clever? Let's not do it right. Let's just do it this way. Now, this was a dealer that did this. Here, I'm going to say. I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this good. That's what he said. See, that's what you buy. Are you blowing stuff at me? Is it, sh is that boy? Over there? Look at the boy. I'm sanding. Bring Mr. Camera over there and look. Sanding. Bondo. You have to learn, Thomas. You have to learn to pick up on what I'm doing. Now look. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, offer, so I get to do this more. I'll, I'll follow all that directions. I'm gonna offer this bridge. <laughs> <laughs> fast jobs people yeah. do to these things. God. Anyway, we're gonna do it right. If we're gonna, and now we're gonna go back. <laughs> can't believe what people do. Listen. I can't believe I have, look at two pictures of your face in the same video frame. Oh, but I look good there now. Now look, look how I look here. You know That's what I'm gonna better. sell you here? Pac-Man boards. Let's go. You know we have another. Another load of Pac-Man boards. There's 24 of them. They're Miss Pac-Man and Pac-Man. The, the, there's a variety of ones. Now here's one that uh, I think El yeah, Eldorado Games converted this to a fast Miss Pac-Man. And one chip runs everything, but it's locked up. It doesn't work. So I don't know what the problem is. That one says buzzes. So we were moving boards around these top boards. So. The ones that were had nothing on them, pretty much like this, we, we never even tested. We just fit. These, these have been laying around for ages. Some of them still have the original wire ties. And here's another one of those Eldorado. See, TNT Miss Pac-Man, regular speed. Missing characters. Okay. Well, okay. Mm, you got to draw them in on your picture, too. 
Runs no sprites. Oh, okay, graphic issue on that one. Dead. Uh, word works. Something missing. Well, I don't know. Look, look. This is it. Oh, this is one of those interesting mods. Uh, it was probably a Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, probably had the daughter board. One of these. These come with it too. Um, this went to a button on the control panel. It was a regular micro switch, and all three. Um, are connected. So if you don't touch the switch, the game runs at normal speed. If you put the switch down, it goes super speed. So it was adjustable speed on that, but whatever doesn't work. Look, 24 boards, 400. We already sold them. <laughs> but I wanted to show you because it drives my competitors nuts. Let's move on. Go on. But last week, we had a party at TNT, and there are fans of my channel. Would you like to see what happened? He's trying to see what's going on. Look at the video. Look. Look. Look what we have. We camera. just had a wonderful party here, a two-hour <laughs> party, and they brought us. The, you all watch my videos, too. <laughs> what did Daddy teach you to do? You remember? What do you do? When you see my videos, what do you do? do? No! <laughs> Did you do it too? Look at these brownies they cooked for the boys. One boy had to leave, he grabbed two already. And, I went, and then they brought us a pound of coffee. Of course. They claim I cry that we never have coffee. <laughs> so much coffee. It's great though, because we drink like five or six pots a day. Well, I'm glad you had your party wow. here. Did you have fun? Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. Which games did you like the most? Oh, she said thumbs up. <laughs> oh, did you find all the razor blades? Yes, yes, yes. From your last video. Yes. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you. You got any compassion? Yes, my daughter said she wants to. Keep the videos coming. Yes, great, yes great. we will. And we got a new baby yes. coming to have parties here, too. <laughs> No idea what you're talking about. Hates me. Right, look, I have no mind tonight. This box tonight. came, and it says it's from Cafe de Mundo, original French coffee. And let me tell you, it has to be coffee, but there's no note on who it's from. The big box for coffee. Okay. It's upside down, I think. From Lee, it was such a pleasure to speak to you. I'm so excited to have Gorgor in the house and to have a TNT game in the collection. As I mentioned on the phone, this is one of my favorite coffees, but God, what? Um, Baskets upside down. I hope you enjoy it as well and keep putting out those videos. He loves our videos. Uh, just for you. Just for you, Lee. Okay. Oh, yeah. mm, it's getting old. Oh. In the meantime, enjoy this wonderful coffee. All the best. Oh, gosh, Rob. <laughs> I said I need a whole tree. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, boys. Mine? There's two of them. There's two. Oh. One for me. I never get any. <laughs> You're going to get a couple oh. of coffee today, young man. Poor Scotty. Look at this. I wonder if my wretched competitors get stuff like this. Uh, no. Scott, you can have this box. Useless t-shirt. <laughs> it's got peanuts in it. Useless t-shirt. Enjoy. Flowers peanuts. from that competitor. Look, look at these wonderful look. Thank you. This, this is really nice. Oh, make a dozen donuts. Guess who's going to be making donuts? My wife. Oh, God. <laughs> Actually, because you did this, I'll give you an advanced look at your machine. He asked me to set this up as in video 836. That one? Uh, 832. 832? Okay, but we did. Well, we put blue up here. Well, first of all, the cabinet's gorgeous. We put blue up here. We put green here. The bottom is red. Okay, um, the hole is now lit. This has the new pin scores display. They set the head up the same way, the, the lighting in the head. The game is gorgeous. Actually, 
this play field, I almost think it was clear coated. And we threw in this free rag for you. No extra charge. No, it's not. It, well, God, it's. Hmm. It may have been clear coated. It's hard to tell. But, wow, it's beautiful. Anyway, it's almost ready to go out. Uh, we actually discovered we haven't done the electronics. Somebody forgot to do the jumpers. And look at this little piece of funny thing. And look here, somebody changed the caps, but they didn't bother laying them flat against the side. Is that your phone, Jonathan? Sure is. You think it's the wife? It could be important. No idea who that is. Anyway, anyway, it, this is almost done. Uh, did you do the cabinet yet, uh, um, Stephen? I'm gonna say no. Uh, he, okay, he didn't go over the cabinet, so it's a work in progress. So, thank you, Lee. And we're going to show you two, is it turned on still? It is. Two as-is bargain basements are going out. This is the Moon Patrol. This was 900. Beautiful picture. We recapped the monitor. Um, we got rid of that light to dark look. Um, this was an unusual game for Williams because they licensed this game. And uh, it was rather interesting. Not too well. Now, hey, come back here. Uh, it was upgraded, and I think it was ours. It was upgraded to the computer-style power supply at some point. So, but it, it looks. It, it's. I'm very happy with. Oh, we put four new footies on it. We also did four new footies on it. This carnival, we had shopped. I think three years ago. Let me see what the sticker is. Uh, it might have been three. Yes, 2016. This was done for a customer. And then they got a divorce. Now, uh, it's actually in pretty good shape, uh, I think. The um, red tea molding. Uh, he never peeled the side art off over here, so it still has the paper, and Rob was busy tugging it off, so I said, leave it on. The other side, he must have had it rubbing up some next couple games. There's a little bit of smear on that, but um, this is the classic carnival. One, one, of, uh, one of the random... To play as a, this is one of those random games that was so popular in its day. And uh, you suck at it. I do. Hmm. It didn't like that. We got quiet. Oh. Suck at anything. <laughs> On board. Busy, I say. Hmm. Oh, oh Kurt tested it last night, right? Yeah, I went away to edit that part out. Before I start it, I have to show you something. Sega did this on purpose. I thought they they made it so if one of the kids tried unplugging the game and plugging it back in to get it to ring up a free credit going on and off, it makes this horrendous noise. Oh my god. That actually worked on plugging and plugging it back in and get a free credit? Uh, well, they didn't want the kids to think that. Uh -oh. Also, the original coin slot. Um, uh, if you ever got junk on your screen, if you dropped a quarter through the slot, it would operate a reset circuit to fix it. It was only done in this system. It's called the VIC system, V-I-C. I'm going to show you the board in a second. I, I haven't played it. You try to get, the, there's a lot of nice features. You try
try to spell the word bonus, for instance, in order. Uh, we have another video that shows uh, more detail. Actually, my super rare cabaret is right there. So you have to take a peek at that. Um, that is a really neat thing to see. Uh, uh, very nice game. Anyway, in the back, to the back, look. The VIC system is this large board and there's two rows of chips to run the game. Uh, in the dual system, one row ran one game, back row ran another. They always had a, a separate soundboard, music board. The larger board is the soundboard, and the music's all made on the second little board on there. So this was a landmark game at the time. We did recap the 4900 uh, in 2016, and the power supply, which we have to use because it has an extra couple voltages and such, plus the amplifiers. That's been rebuilt, too. I think it's done. That's your cash. Money. And big money. Break time. I have enough to put in the uh, candy machine at the Bentley dealer when I get my candy bar, when I get service. Okay. Last thing you need is a candy bar. Right, well, this is a zoo crack, a zoo keeper. Okay, made by the Tato Corporation, one of their biggest smashes of all time. Actually, it wasn't. Is that a sweet Tato or just a regular Tato? Now, real quick history. You've been seeing us. We've been walking by it. We've been, it there's been a whole bunch of things involved with us. It came to us pretty much restored, and the guy did a very nice job to it. This is brand new side art that is over the original, and I'm pretty sure they're doing the same kind of job we do when we bondo it and clean it. It, it looks beautiful. New overlay, the monitor bezel must be brand new, but it came in this way. But the fellow that's ordered it over in England, he said, please go through it and check it. So what we had to do was convert it. Oh, oh Frank, your lunch is in here. <laughs> what are you, a f something? You can't say that. <laughs> He How's just that? did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you like that? What was it? Of course, you liked it. <laughs> I have to finish. Now look, the Let other guy, the guy he bought it from, already did the cap kit. He put the new. We got rid of all the boards on the back door board. Uh, this is a piece of paneling that's covering probably all the wood that was on there, all the screw holes. So this little board is now running it, and this board of course would run other games too, but only the zookeeper is on now. That's one of those multi-keyboards. We cleaned up the wiring a bit, everything was kind of hanging, but that was it. You didn't have to do anything else except over here. This little affair right here, this is called a programming plug. Now, notice it says 120, but it's not anymore. I can't peel it off, Rob. Get, get a magic marker. This programming plug is now 240. In England, for some inexplicable reason, they're using 240 volts. Actually, actually, it's a really good idea. It really is. But we're using 120, so they're using 240. So if we send something over there, we really have to convert it, or he has to get one of those adapters like this. It sits on the ground or it gets folded inside. But you see, that's a worldwide transformer. The problem is, is in the Tato manual for every game. I looked in Jungle Hunt, I looked in Quicks or Kicks, I looked in Zoo Crapper, I looked everywhere. Nowhere does it tell you how to wire it for 240 volts. It just says, select the right plug for 240. Well, we couldn't. There was only one plug in it. So, so you can all see the notches are in the top, okay? Two empty pins here. This is the wiring for 240 volts. Yeah, don't okay? try to do it off of this picture. You blow your game up, it's on you. It's yes. on well, game. actually, I need to give some thanks out because apparently a lot of other people had the same question. So, the KLOV Dot com has been a great help and also Aussie's Arcade. We had a bunch of people chip uh, pipe in over the years 
of other people with the same questions. Uh, Lexmark, John's Arcade, you remember John, Mr. D, Hudson Arcade, Rod90, R64, somebody else, and whoever I missed. Thank you very much, because now the game is wired for 240 volts. <laughs> now, the nice thing is, so coming out of this side is 120. And it powers the power supply the man put in, the television set, and everything. Now, this little gadget here is our power converter. And as you can see here, it's made in the heart of Red China. And this particular thing is converting it. So this is our way of testing it. So this is our way of testing to make sure it will work when it gets to Richard's house. Yeah, we should. We should put. Rob, just just get a battery one and break two four. Yeah, fix it. Just just so he knows. Yep. Yeah, that would be a disaster. Actually, you know what we're going to do. Actually, nothing would have happened. We'll put a piece of masking tape over his power cord. So we actually did nothing to this other than put some wire ties on this and kind of move it from one room to the other until we figured out what was going on with the power. I just hesitated putting in a power converter on the bottom. Step out of my way. Out of my way. He didn't get the I didn't get the button. How's that? Pretty good? Okay. Long winded and boring as usual. Oh god, it was boring. I'm done. We sold it. Our two-in-one Skardargate Defender. The game can scream to play. <laughs> you know what? We're going to make more of these multi-Williams. We now sell more multi-Williams than anybody on planet Earth. Actually, we don't. We, we, <laughs> we sell one a year. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then they come back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Guess what? My imbecile brothers tell me. I wanted to show you the progress hmm. on this overhaul. So we had to take this all apart because all of this had chipped. Stephen has repainted all this. You would never even know. And these are new housings, and we're putting new sockets in. We're going to put 555 sockets in here. Okay, and we're in the process of switching things over. So it, this is essentially. What would you call this, Rob? A work in progress. All right, this has to, we have to get another post in here. And then this gets stretched all the way back here. So they left this out. So as I said, it's still a work in progress, folks. We're still working on this. Aren't we? And look, look what else we're working on. Lost in space. We're lost in space. <sighs> we, we, God, I think I've only had one other of these in all these years. They didn't make many of these things. We'll have an extensive video on it, I think. It's beautiful, isn't it? You know what you're doing? Hey, Todd, you know what you're doing? Hey, listen, um, the guy out front, he's uh, hes here to see you. He's from Germany. He's here. I, I don't have time to talk to fools or imbeciles. He's right here. Just send him away. He's, he's right here. Where? Right here. Right there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh! I slap him for calling you an imbecile. We love, we love guests. Hey, sir. Nice we love guests. You. <laughs> we, awesome. and, and this was absolutely not set up at all. <laughs> not, not, not at all. <laughs> From Germany, Christian has visited us. He told us that he, he ran into Frank and I at the Pimble Expo. He knocked me down, but of course Frank is so big, Frank did not get hit. I'm not, I'm not, not like enough. you on a fold like a cheap suit. But I don't remember him. I don't remember. He has the photographic name. evidence. But listen, Christian wanted he walks and he wants to meet all the, the characters here. Now here's a character right here. This is Steve. I'm a character. Hey Steve, how are you? Hello, how are you? That's Christian. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. And he watches us in color. In on Germany. Purpose. He thinks well, I'm walking on purpose. water. <laughs> and this is Jake who occasionally when did Jake State sneak Farm. in? That's Jake from State Farm. Hey. He's not wearing his khakis nice today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And then, of course, we have some other resident idiots. When did you sneak in? Wallace. When did you sneak in? Also known really? as Wall Ass. Hey. 
See, that's actually how it's spelled, too, right? A F A C E. The ace, as in the legend. And then we have one of the two, the, the Tim Tom twins, who are staying. Actually, they're going to stay overnight, and I actually booked them a room at the Marriott. So they'll be staying there tonight. Uh, so I don't get so it. Wait, 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 wait. Tomorrow. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. What, what, we got what? guys that drive here from Maryland to work. Yes. You got a guy that comes and visits from Germany, yes. but your nephew who lives six miles up the road never comes to work. Uh, he just complains. <laughs> I like people that work either cheaper or for free. They work for pizza? Nobody's that stupid, right? Tonight, we're <laughs> ta I'm going to stuff them at the chicken pizza. That hotel pizza. room you booked for them? <laughs> Actually, it's got a free. <laughs> as the lady told me tonight, they have a free, huge hot breakfast in the morning. But then I'm going to see if they want to join me at Daddy Poops, too. But anyway, see, Christian, if you were living here, mm -hmm. hey, we, you could come over and get it. And if you want to join me, too, you can. Only when you invite us. In Happer, I invite everybody. And they say, it's too far a drive. I don't want to go there. You only get invited when you get customers, guys like you come and then you invite us. When, other than that, you don't get invited. As soon as, as, soon as the camera's off, you're uninvited. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the kind of ridicule you'll have to be put up with. See, when you visit, you should never have come. That's true. Let's go in and see the wife. <laughs> Pam, this is the coffee. Mm, yum, yum. Yes, and it was very kind of you to share and send us all this stuff. Not one basket, but two lovely baskets with this lovely ribbon. And I'd like to know Beautiful. when you're going to make me these donuts. I want lots of them. They're French oh! donuts. French donuts. Ooh la la. <laughs> From New Orleans. Awesome. Thanks again, and we'll see you again soon. Enjoy the game. Good night. Your gentle Lord with your kind. He don't think of the folks behind. All on a beautiful morning. All on a beautiful morning.